Greetings everybody, I am Miss Mattel 101 and welcome to the MCWA All Women Special. This is quite the occasional moment for us, or I wouldn't say occasional, well it's quite the occasion for us. This is our first actual all women show that we've ever produced and honestly I'm excited to see how this goes. Making her way to the ring now is Makoto Nijima. She's here to talk about this show. Ladies and gentlemen, I do want to address that we are currently live in Phoenix, Arizona. Which is the current home of a wrestler that was recently injured at New Begins 2, Sunset Shimmer. We'll hear more about that as time goes on. But right now, Makoto Nijima is in the ring. She has a lot she wants to talk about. That includes some of the actions that some of the other women have taken, and maybe some possible matches that are happening tonight as well. Well, she's got the mic, but let's hear what she has to say. the words. Quite strong words from Makito Nijima. Obviously, she has a tight leash on Lucina. Well, as close as, as, as tight as it can get without actually seeming too overpowered. Nonetheless, we're going to start this off with some tag team action. We have Ayano Aishi and the Beauty Thief taking on Linkle and Athena Sykes. These are quite interesting duos. Iano Aishi, this is her first appearance since New Begins 2, where she ended up being on the losing efforts against Aqua in a Hardcore Rules match. And another thing that was interesting about that matchup was Ayano got straight up. Ayano got up after a while and she didn't show any signs of pain. So, Ayano Aishi, honestly, if there was anyone I was scared about on this roster, Ayano Aishi would probably be at the top of the list. Ayano Aishi coming from a school in Japan, Akademi High, she recently graduated from that school, and now she's here. And now, here comes her tag team partner, the Beauty Thief. Last time we saw the Beauty Thief was on episode 3, where she had up on the losing effort against Goro Akechi. The Beauty Thief is going to be making her way to the ring now. There she is. Thief. The name actually is pretty interesting when you think about it. Um, the Beauty Thief. The Thief of Beauty. 
stealing the hearts of men and all while being the villain. A joint to Goro Kachi, I mean. Kind of questionable how they say that, but. Well, that's a thing. And now we're gonna see the heroes. Athena Sykes and Linkle. Making her way to the ring now is Linkle. She hasn't really been seen a lot, but she has been on episode 3 and episode 2. On episode 2, she defended Sanaa Dust against the Warrior Brothers. And then Linkle would go to episode 3 to defeat Wadawiji. She was also a participant in the MCWA World Championship Tournament. She ended up making it to the second round, only to lose to Simon Blackwell. Beauty Thief was also in that tournament, but she lost to Lucina in the first round. And then Lucina was also in that tournament, again, and she lost to Sunset Shin. Three of these four women were part of the MCWA World Championship Tournament before the women's division split. But only one of them actually made it to the second round. So, that's a pretty interesting dynamic to think about. And now Linkle's in the ring. She's looking ready to go. Ready to take on these villains. And now, here comes... What the... What the... What the heck? What happened to Athena? Captain Sykes? What? Maybe she's suffering... Well, she did have a concussion at the Valentine's Day special. An identity crisis? But Captain Sykes... Or Athena... This is definitely different. Um... Well... Captain Sykes is in the ring. And I think she's ready to go. Here we go. Tag team action underway. Ayao Aishi and Linko are going to start this one off. The test of strength. Both of them go ahead. And... Ayano Aishi wins it. And tried to go for a slap. That didn't work out. Oh, a huge right hand by Linko. Another right hand blocked. And now... Oh! Tried going for a slap. That didn't work out. A punch blocked. A slap blocked. Punch, punch. Right hand blocked. And now tagging in the beauty thief. The Beauty Thief is in. The Beauty Thief now. Oh, the punch was blocked. Oh, chop blocked. The snap there takes out by the Beauty Thief. The Beauty Thief right now. Doing a pretty good job in keeping Linkle under control. And DDT. Simple yet effective. And now Beauty Thief picking up Linkle. Ayano, Ayano gets tagged in. And there's the grapple. A punch, and oh! Wrist lock, suplex, Whoa. there's a cover, only gets a one. Captain Sykes comes in for a split second. Huge slap by Ayana. Into the ropes, oh, tried going for a kitchen sink, I think. Oh, cross by by Waco! And there's the cover after that, no! Not even a one count, and QT missing some strikes. Punch blocked, punch blocked there. Headlock takedown, or a snapmare, I think. UC brewing for Ayano Aishi in this matchup. There's Linkle thrown into the corner. UC comes in. Uh oh, they're about to toss Linkle halfway across the ring. Oh! Linkle was tossed halfway across the ring by the dynamic duo of Ayano Aishi and the Beauty Thief. There's the tag back to the Beauty Thief. Right now, the Beauty Thief in a really good position. As long as they keep Linkle away from Captain Sykes, then I think they have this matchup in the bag. And you see, they are also going for constant tags and constant team-ups. And there's a Bulldog. A Bulldog by the Beauty Thief. And the Beauty Thief really getting energized by this crowd here in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, there's a slap, and now Beauty Thief is slapping Linkle silly. And hits the drop kick. Linkle does not go down. There's, oh, Irish whip into the rope. Oh, back elbow shot on the Linkle. Beauty Thief doing a really good job in keeping Linkle under control. And there's the grapple. Huge clothesline. Takes Linkle off her feet. There's the cover. 
kick out one. Captain Sykes gets a ball. Axel drop kicks the like of Linko. This pirate sure does not want to lose. There's the tag to Ayano. And now Ayano's in. She has Link. Oh! Some short thrust. Very simple but effective to get rid of that. Oh! Ayano just choking Linko! There are no rules against choking. Well, there might be, but I haven't been informed them. And now a headlock by Ayano too close to the ropes. And now Irish whip. Oh, missed the back elbow. And Link will bring the ropes again into the clothesline. The clothesline, there's a half crab. That half crab is in. Ayano's in trouble. Oh, no, not yet. The beauty thief gets involved. Then again, I'm not sure if submissions actually work against Diana. And there's an art headlock, this time away from the ropes. But y'all, let's go the headlock. That keeps Link restrained. And there's... Oh, tried going for something there, didn't work out. Oh, backbreaker by Ayano. And Ayano throwing Link into the corner. And now from behind. And now, oh wait a minute. Are we gonna see a Doomsday Device? Nails it! Doomsday Device by Ayano and the Beauty Thief. Blinkle's in trouble. There's the tag to the Beauty Thief. The Beauty Thief right now, back into the headlock. Beauty Thief and Ayano Aishi are doing a really good job in keeping Blinkle isolated. Not only that, they're doing a really good job in making sure she doesn't get any momentum. Linko might be in serious trouble here. Unless she gets that tag. Beauty Thief picking up Linko. Oh, there's the grapple. Beauty Thief pulling Linko away. Rush leg sweep. A very simple move with very effective results. And now, there's the pickup. And now, a... Do you think going behind? You can see Ayano trying to get in the ring. There's a there's a choke, I think. Captain Sykes gets involved. And oh! Linko unable to get anything rolling. The, oh, there's a close line by the Beauty Thief. The Beauty Thief might be looking to end this. Try going for something. No, that didn't work out. And now Linko. Whoa! There's a victory Whoa. roll! Only gets a one. Ayano breaks it up with ease. And now, Beauty Thief picking up Linko. And now the Beauty Thief. Oh, Linko goes behind. And now another victory roll. Another victory roll. Trying to get a quick win here. Ayano breaks it up again. That's the thing. As long as Ayano's in there, nothing's going to be done. But Linko back. Linko's finally in the driver's seat. There's some punches. Into the corner. Splash! And now throwing her to the other corner. Look for another splash. Got, got it. And now, Linkle throwing. Beauty Thief into the ropes and mop by Flapjack. Linkle finally gains some momentum and there's the tag. Captain Sykes is now in the match. And now Captain Sykes going for a recliner. Ayano breaks it up. Oh! There's a drop kick. And now Captain Sykes. Oh, there's a straight right hand. Oh, try to go for an elbow that didn't work. Oh. Captain Sykes might be suffering some brain damage. Oh, there's a drop kick taking the Yano off the apron. Oh, Beauty Thief is back up. And now, oh! Drop kick by the Beauty Thief. Captain Sykes in trouble. No! Captain Sykes gets out of it. Sheesh, that's gonna be awkward to say. Captain Sykes with the headlock. On the Beauty Thief, Captain Sykes doing a really good job in keeping this under control. And now, into the ropes. And Flapjack! Captain Sykes is now in the driver's seat. There's a drop kick taking the auto off the apron. And now, Captain Sykes. Oh, Captain Sykes locking in the walls of Widget! The walls of Widget are in, and it's on tight! Beauty Thief may have nowhere to go! No! Ayano just able to get in the ring and break it up! Just in the nick of time, too! My goodness, that was close! And now, oh! A slap 
by the beauty thief! And there's the tag to Ayano! Ayano's now in the match! There's a slap! Ayano Aishi taking on the now fresh Captain Sykes! There's a backbreaker! And Ayano Aishi gonna be looking for it. No! Captain Sykes gets up! No! And now, try going for his. Uh, no! Captain Sykes knows full well about that Power DT. Well, maybe. But that Power DT has definitely gotten Ayano some wins. One win over Athena. And now Ayano's on the outside. And Link One. trying to stop her. Two. But Ayano. Three. No! Four. Whoa! Captain Sykes Five. just dives out onto Six. Ayano Aishi. Seven. The referee is continuing his count. Eight. Now at eight. Nine. Captain Sykes Ten. is loading. We do have a joint count rule here in MCWA. So. Twelve. Thirteen. Now, oh, there's a drop kick. Fourteen. Oh. Fifteen. Obviously some miscommunication. Sixteen. Ayano's back in the ring. Seventeen. And Captain Sykes gets back in the ring by the count of seventeen. Ayano might have taken some damage on the outside. Same with Captain Sykes. There's the drop kick to the left. Punch. Oh, try going for the elbow and missed. Punch. Huge elbow shot. Take. Ayano Aishi still on the ropes. And. Flapjack. Flapjack by Captain Sykes. Captain Sykes probably going to be looking to end this. Locking in a figure four. The figure four is in. And Beauty Thief breaks it up. But you can see the Beauty Thief is clutching her stomach. Not exactly going to go well for her. And now, they'll try locking the walls. Ayano gets out of it. Ayano got out of the walls of Widget. And, oh, flapjack by Ayano. Ayano looking to put an end to this. Looking for, no. Doesn't get it. Drop kick. And now, Captain Sykes. Oh, Ayano goes over. Wait a minute, there's Schoolgirl. This could be it. One. No, Linkle breaks it up. Linkle broke up the pin just in the nick of time. And now, oh. No. Oh. And, oh. Snapmare takedown by Ayano. Ayano now. Tagging in the beauty thief. I'm not sure why he would do that. Considering that could be a huge mistake. No. Tried going for the bump bop. It didn't work. Oh. And now. Athena. Athena going to try to walk on the walls. She's coming. The walls are witching her in. And. That was a bit close. But. The referee did call the submission victory. Beauty Thief might have tapped out the last second before Ayano was able to make the save. I will look at that replay again just to be sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, let's see this again. Okay, it was punch blocked. The walls are in. And. And yeah, Beauty Thief did tap just in time. Treating, it is a one on one. Oh, now it's a two on one. Linko and Captain Sykes are obviously angry about this. I would be too. And this crowd, not sure what to think. You think dropped the weapon? I think she's gonna head to the back. Linko and Captain Sykes are angry, and Beauty Thief is running. Let's head to the back now.
Strong words by Lucina. Lucina is saying that she runs the women's division. Although we don't actually have a championship yet. But anyway, let's move on to our next matchup. And this one's going to introduce Zarya to the mix. Zarya has recently signed with MCWA. And honestly, she looks imposing. She looks a bit threatening, I would say. Zarya. Zarya does come from... Does come from Russia, specifically Voskaya Industries. And she used to be a bodybuilding champion. That's where all that massive strength comes from. But Zarya, I'm a bit concerned that... I'm a bit concerned that whoever Zarya faces is going to get destroyed. Zarya does seem to be prideful about herself. And if I was her, I would be too. Just gonna be honest about that. This match was underway. She is facing Jasmine Sky and Zarya is just posing. Does Zarya even care? Jasmine looks on and... Oh, a huge elbow shot by Jasmine! And Zarya is not affected by it at all! That's a little worrying and... Oh, that didn't go well. And now, Zarya... Just picking up and slamming Jasmine like she's nothing. And again... Like she's nothing. There's a Suba. Oh my goodness, look at the strength. She has Jasmine up. It slams her down with the suplex. Blood rushing to the head. That's only going to make Jasmine woozy. And now, oh, just pick her up from a choke. And a powerbomb holds onto it. Another one. And three powerbombs. Just pure strength by Zarya. Zarya is just showing what she's capable of. And now, going back to these power bombs. Ah! Seriously, just taking one hurts, but imagine taking three. All with the strength that Zarya has. I don't think I could handle the strength. I don't think I could handle any of her offense. But Jasmine has to. Oh my god. Oh! A backbreaker holds on to it. Another one. And three backbreakers. Ah! That has to be painful. And now, Zarya, pick her up for a crucifix. Oh no. It just tosses her. My goodness. What strength. And Zarya again showing off. Zarya's pride is getting in the way. Zarya's pride is just getting in the way of this match. Meanwhile, Jasmine Sky is just sitting there. And now, oh, it's just slamming her down. Zarya now just. And now pick it up, military press into the slam. And now Zarya. Zarya's gonna be looking to end this. I think, oh. Oh, she's got her up. Slams her down for the jackhammer. One, two, and you can count to a million three. and a half with that. Zarya. Easy win for her. Jasmine Sky was no competition whatsoever. And Zarya again showing off in the ring. It's as if she felt nothing. Jasmine just got destroyed in this match. I'm sorry to say it, One, but it's true. Two, three. It's
well. McIntyre's obviously not being this, obviously not going to open up about it. Maybe it's to keep Lucina in the dark. But now we're going to move on to our second debut. And no, it's not Moe Fukioka. It is another recently signed contender in Faith Connors. Here comes Moe Fukioka. Moe Fukioka, I'm going to say she has a lot of heart. And she's really fast. A lot of wrestlers have... A lot of wrestlers have commented about her being one of the few wrestlers on the roster who has a really high potential rating. And I think this matchup against Faith could be a great test for Alright, and apparently Makito thought the same thing. As this is Faith Connors. Faith Connors gonna make her way to the ring any second now. Moe Fukuoka just waiting. Faith Connors making her way to the ring now. For those that have watched DC at Wildcats 100, she is scheduled to be on Wildcats at some point, but she's here in MCWA. And right now, she has a huge, she has a motive on her mind. Make an impact. Win. Faith Connors making her way to the ring. I think she's ready for a fight. Faith Connors in the ring. Here we go. This is gonna be high. This is gonna be fast paced, high octane action. Faith missed the Insecurion. Oh, Faith tried going for a strike. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wheel kick by Moe Fukioka. Moe Fukioka. Oh, Faith counters. And now, oh, there's a kick. Now, oh. Molly go behind. Oh, there's a counter by Faith. And Faith now missing the Enziguri again. When it comes to strikes, I think Moe has her beat. Faith has got to rely on grapples. There's the Northern Lights. Break. Too close to the ropes. And there's a huge kick to the back of Moe's head. And right now, Faith in control. Oh, there's a huge kick. And oh, cross shot. That's where Faith's speed is really coming into play. Sure, no doubt, Moe is fast. But I think Faith is faster. You just cannot go into a strike game with Moe Fukuoka. Irish whip. And now, crush up. Definitely did some damage. Now Faith going up top. Oh! Senton. And now, Faith. Faith now walking in a headlock on Moe. Faith slowing down the pace of this match. And now, oh, picking up Moe. No, drop kick missed. Oh, there's a huge kick to the back of the head. And no, oh, tried going for the cross by combination. Didn't work out. Faith with a kick. Arm drag. Faith's speed is really coming into play in this match. She's able to outspeed Moe Fukuoka at every corner. And that's giving Moe a really... This is giving Moe a really tough time. Moe on the outside of the ring. She's in trouble. One, and Faith dives two, out. Three. Four. Faith now. Five. Wait on Moe to get up. Six. And... Oh, seven. Road into the ring. And... Oh. A hero back inside the ring. Now going outside. Moe getting up. Faith now. Whoa! Springboard Hurricane Rana One, has the cover. Two. No! Only gets a two. There's a drop kick. Moe's in the ropes again. And now Irish Whip jumps over. Cross shot. A simple yeah effective maneuver. And that didn't work out. Guess she tried going for a cross shot, but now I've read it. Faith now telling Moe to bring it. There's another kick by Faith. Another thing which I actually do want to point out about Faith Connors is that she's actually pretty tall compared to a good majority of MCWA's roster. 
compared to most women, she's actually very, very tall. I think she's six foot three to be precise. And Faith Connor is really using that height and speed to his advantage. Not his, to her advantage. I'm just used to seeing men at six foot three. There's a Hurricane Rana. Faith in control now. She's picking Moe up. And Springboard Moon Salt. The, the legs end up catching her. That's where One, those long legs are two. really coming into play. Gets a two. Let's go of it. Now Moe up top. Elbow. Moe's becoming a house of fire. She's doing anything to get momentum going. There's a neck breaker. And now Moe. Irish whip. Ducks under. Oh, huge kick by Moe. Into the sleeper roll. Oh, Faith gets out of it. I give Moe credit for her strike game. Her grapple game definitely doesn't seem to be the best right now. But her strikes are becoming ruthless. Needs the elbows. Now a huge right hand taking Faith. Faith's in the corner. Now some kicks in the back of Faith Connors. Huge kicks in the back of the head. And now Moe. Invert DT on the Faith Connors. Moe Fukioka doing a really good job and keep the offense rolling. And now Moe, no, Faith goes behind. Faith now with a Hurricane Rana. Beautiful execution. One, There's the cover. Two, two no. Only gets a two. by Faith Connors. One, I think that might be it. Two, yes, it is. Faith Connors with the victory. Hitting that double or hook DDT. Putting Moe Fukioka out for the count. Moe Fukioka really put up a good fight against Faith Connors here. Let's see that double or hook again. Perfectly landed. And that's what got the W. One. Two, it wasn't anything flashy, three. but it was just enough to keep Moe down. And Faith Carr seems happy about her victory. Now Faith checking on Moe, helping her up. Moe's back up to her feet. Faith giving some, Faith giving some words to Moe Fukioka. All she needs is a, is a distinct style. I wonder what she means by that.
nothing. Well, anyway, let's move on to tag team action. We have two former team. We have two former tag team partners of other tag teams. We have Diane Ariel of the Ariel Twins and Final Scratch of Tech Base Party. Unfortunately, with the split, these two teams had to be split up. But if there's one thing I know about these two, it's that they're electrifying. But if there's one thing I do want to point out, this is actually the first time they're teaming up together. And honestly, I'm a little worried. This could mean that these two partners aren't exactly on the same page. And that can be detrimental to tag team strategy. If you don't have a strategy to go for, then my goodness, how in the world are you expected to win? These two don't know each other outside being on opposite sides of the ring. Even then, that wasn't the case. But as you can see, Vinyl Scratch and Diane are willing to work together. And they're taking on a tough team, one that I definitely say could give them some trouble if they're not careful. Specifically, two newly signed wrestlers from the girls wrestling movement. Two American wrestlers. First off is Payne Fox. Payne Fox, this is the first time we've seen her. But in the girls wrestling movement, for the global wrestling monopoly actually, she was a former Divas Tag Team Champion alongside her partner tonight, Queen Elizabeth. To beat the team of Candy Pair. But right now, Payne Fox is definitely looking to make an impact here in MCWA's women's division. And her partner is going to do the same. Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth making her way to the ring now. Both these two actually participated in the Glamour X Element Tournament. Queen Elizabeth made it to the second round. But Payne Fox was not so lucky. But as you can see, they're pulling that behind them. I kind of wish Lucina would do the same. But they're pulling that behind them and focusing on the future. Not only with the girls wrestling movement in Japan, but also here in MCWA and various other virtual wrestling leagues around the world. Queen Elizabeth in the ring. Are we about to get this started? Yes, we are. This tag team match is underway. You can see Payne Fox is actually a bit shorter than most of the other women on the roster. But she is vicious with her strikes. She isn't fast. She isn't powerful. But she's deadly. And she's ruthless. Into the corner. There's a tag to Queen Elizabeth. Now, Queen Elizabeth just choking Diane Ariel with her foot. Queen Elizabeth in control now. Queen Elizabeth, oh, there's a team out suplex. Nicely done by Queen Elizabeth. There's a stump. There's a tag back to Payne Fox. Constant tagging, I like it. There's a face crusher. And now, Payne Fox. Payne Fox is waiting for Diane Ariel to get up. Oh, elbow shots. And a backhand. And now, into the corner. Oh! Shoulder thrust into the corner. Not exactly friendly. And exploder. There's a tag back to Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth is in the ring. Now going to lock in a figure four, I think. The figure four is in. Diane may have nowhere to go. Vinyl breaks it up. Try going for the chop and oh. Oh, drop kick taking Vinyl scratch off the apron. That leaves Diane alone. There's a Boston Crab. The Boston Crab is in. Diane has nowhere to go like before. Queen Elizabeth, let's go. 
low kick. Some shots. Huge right hand taking Diane Allery. Queen Elizabeth follows. The referee will start his One. count. Remember, Two. there is a 20 count in this Three. match. Going close to paying Fox. There's the tag. And now, oh, Payne Fox just going for some headbutts. But looks like she's not even touching the ground. My goodness, that's impressive. Levitating headbutts. I don't think I've seen anything like it. And now Paige just pounding Diane's heads to mat. And now Payne Fox is just ruthless with her attacks. There's a tag back to Queen Elizabeth. I like this teamwork. Constant tagging. It gets the job done. And now Queen Elizabeth going back into that figure four. Bio Scratch breaks it up again. Queen Elizabeth is probably having enough of this. Oh, there's a grapple. And now, Queen Elizabeth with the neckbreaker. Nicely done. Neckbreaker and think about the tag. There's the tag to Payne Fox. Payne Fox. Payne Fox looking. Oh, huge lariat taking Vile Scratcher off the apron and Ladiato! Ladiato taking Diane Ariel two, off her feet down the three. mat. And Paige Fox picks up the win for her team. Paige Fox and Queen Elizabeth, they have done excellent tag team work here. Making sure to keep Diane Ariel away from the tag. And they did constant work on her. And that work ended with a huge Ladiato right here. That Lariat nearly took Diane's head off. One, two, ouch. Three. Hopefully Diane Ariel is going to be okay after that. Hey, Fox and Queen Elizabeth gain the win here in the... Hey, hey, wait a minute. The... What? Lucina. The... Why? Lucina's attacking Faith Connors for no reason at all. This is a completely unprovoked attack! At least we think it is! Bulusina! Oh, huge clothesline! Faye gain up! But she didn't run! Now Lucia just going for some chomps! Lucia just going for countless chomps on the Faith Cutters! Oh, knees to the head! And now just stomping away at Faith. Where's security? And now, Lucina. Oh, Falcon! And Faith gained up. Falcon again! A second one, Lucia's head off. What a... Ah! Oh. I'd say it, but I can't. Let's go and move on to more singles action as we have Aria Blaze making her way to the ring. Aria Blaze. Aria Blaze at no begins too. She did defeat Sanaa Dusk, but she will lose the first round of the Strange Valentine's Tournament. Something that I have avoided mentioning so far, but. There are a lot of people in that tournament that are here. Right now, Arya Blaze making her way to the ring. Arya Blaze, I think she's looking for some good technical wrestling to come out. But at the moment, we're not sure her actually in the moment. Yeah, I think I know who her opponent is. It's going to be Yoko Littner, another debuting wrestler. As far as I know, I could be wrong though. And based on that, yeah, I think I'm right. It is going to be Yoko Littner. Another recently signed contender who is actually in the Glamorex Element Tournament. She actually made it to the quarterfinals. Oddly enough, defeat Lucida to get there. 
Although I'm certain that win against Lucida wasn't the only reason why she was signed. Yoko Littner. Yoko Littner making her way to the ring now and she's in. Yoko Littner. I think Yoko Littner has a lot to prove here in MCWA. Just like everyone else who has come up here. They have quite a bit to prove and I think that Yoko Littner is going to be one of the ones to prove herself. Just like the others have so far. Here we go. This is likely going to be a technical contest. But right now we're starting with strikes. Bit unorthodox. Wait a minute. Hurricane Rana out of nowhere. One. Whoa. Only gets a one count. That could have been over quick. And now Yoko Littner. Yoko's got Aria. And now Yoko with the neckbreaker on Aria. Yoko Littner hitting that neckbreaker beautifully. And now going for a spinning toe hold. That's not exactly a move you want to take. Very classic technical maneuver. And now, oh, wrist lock suplex. One, There's the cover. Two. Only gets a two. Not it. And now, oh, drop kick miss. And now, oh, a huge stomp. Oh, that was blocked. No. Oh, gets out of it. Now Yoko Littner in control. Drop kick missed. Arya now. Looking for a headlock takedown. Gets it. And now Arya's got Yoko's head. Stomps her in the chest. And now Arya going to her legs. And now gonna lock in. That's a very unique submission hold. A unique submission hold by Arya. Didn't get anything done. There's a stomp in. Belly to belly. Nails it. Huge belly to belly throw by Arya Blaze. There's the cover. One, two, no. Only gets a two count. Close but no cigar. And now, wait a minute. Yoko going for a cross arm breaker. That was a quick transition. And that cross arm breaker's on tight. Oh no. Doesn't get it. Arya's not going to tap that easily. Headlock takedown. Arya now. Irish whip into the ropes. Oh, there's an elbow shot. Elbow to the head. And now locking in the recliner. No, that's a camel clutch. Excuse me. They'd have a, they have a bit more elevation if it was a recliner. Oh, Arya going behind. Headlock takedown. And now, oh, trying to go for a stop. Didn't work out. But she's getting some elbows and a huge right hand. Into the room she goes. High knee. High knee by Aria Blaze, showing that she's willing to go for strikes, and now back into the camel clutch. Yoko gets out of it. Yoko Littner now doing a really good job of keeping this match under control. Now, oh, there's a sleeper hold. Sleeper hold, no. Let's go. Oh. Drop kick. Now, Yoko now for the Northern Lights gets it. Northern Lights suplex in with the bridge. One, One two, two, no. Only gets a two. And now, oh, now Arya with a snapmare takedown or headlock takedown. And now Arya's got Yoko. Arya now, DDT. Arya with the DDT on the Yoko. Simple yet effective. One, There's the cover. Two. two, no. Only gets a two count. Not it yet. And now Yoko blocking that elbow shot. Now Irish women to the ropes. Oh, huge kick by Yoko Lindner. Yoko trying to get some feeling back in her body, stretching her legs. And Arya, oh, Yoko saw that coming. And now, oh, dragon, dragon screw leg whip. And now back into the speed toe. Yoko Lindner is focusing on the legs of Arya Blaze here. Weaken down the leg, you weaken down the rest of the body. Huge right hand. And now, oh, that didn't work. Oh, inside Korea roll up. One, two, no. Only gets a two. Now Arya. Arya Yoko had a stare down. Arya gets the grapple. No. Yoko goes behind with a headlock takedown. No, just a simple headlock. The headlock is in. Arya's in trouble. Yoko lets go. Oh, huge right hand. Now Yoko going up to the top. 
This could be disastrous if this goes bad. Up, up, crossbody. Lands it. The cover is in. Two and no. Only gets a two on Aria. And now, oh, stomp blocked. Huge right hand, another, another, and right hand to the back. Yoko Littner is in trouble. And now, Arya locked in a figure four leg lock. The figure four is in. Yoko's in trouble. Gets out of it. Gets out of it before too much damage is done. And now, Yoko, turning Arya around. Uh, whoa! Arya with the sunset flip out of nowhere. This could be it. Two. No. Only gets a two count. My goodness, that was close. And now Arya, Death Valley Driver. Her signature Death Valley Driver One, uses two. it to perfection. Only gets a two. Oh, Arya now. Some knees to the head. Weakening down the head area of Yoko Littner. Arya now. Right now, tried going for it. No, didn't get the arms. German suplex by Yoko Lindner with the One, bridge. Two, two, and no. Only gets a two count. My goodness, that was close. There's a headlock takedown. And now, Yoko Lindner. No. And now, headlock in. The headlock is in by Yoko. Not letting go. Pulling it on. Let's go then eventually. And now it's the sleeper old. Arya gets out of it. The submissions aren't really gonna work against either of these two, really. They know exactly what they're doing in the ring. And now Arya locking in arm bar. Arya has that arm bar in. I think she I think she was wrenching that arm of it. Trying to pull it out of socket. And now Arya picking up Yoko. Breaker. We've seen that from Yoko earlier in the match. One, and now we see it here and gets a two. Close but no cigar. Now the two of them exchange blows. Oh, that shot was blocked. Shots. Oh, missing the big right. Drop kick to the leg. Arya's in the ropes. Irish women to the other side. And oh! Just throwing her over her head. And I think Yoko's gonna be looking to end this. Oh, there's a cover. One. Arya kicks out. Arya saying you're not gonna get me with a measly cover. And now, oh, oh, armbar. No, Arya rolls out of it. Arya rolls out of the armbar, but you can see she's feeling some pain in her arm. And now, oh, Yoko going behind. Looking for the, no. Arya gets out of it and Whoa! Inside Cradle, small package roll up. This could be One, it. Two, two. No! Only gets a two count. Close. Arya Blaze doing a really good job keeping the momentum going. And now, well, Yoko goes behind Arya. Now going in front. Shoulder thrust. Dealing more damage to Arya's arm. Arya feeling a little dazed. Oh, Arya getting back up. No! Didn't work out. And now, oh, the grapple. Now Yoko turning around. Yoko now picking up Arya. Skilled marksman. One, the skilled marksman two, lands. Three, and that's the victory for Yoko Lehner. Yoko Lehner picking up the victory over Arya Blaze with the skilled marksman. Yoko Littner saying her career in MCWA on a high note. Here's that skilled marksman again, that running powerbomb. That One, can definitely do some two, damage to your head and back. Three. That can hurt. A victory for Yoko Littner. Now she's going to Arya Blaze. Yoko picking up Arya. Yoko Littner. Arya, maybe they'll show him respect, maybe? Arya's not having any of it. That's a little worried. Arya showing no respect to Yoko Lin or after their bout. Something might be going on between them, I don't know.
something might happen. Your team is denying the truth. Now we're about to move on to more singles action. This was our originally planned main event. Lucina taking on a mystery opponent that not even I know about anymore. But we recently changed that up for the IC title match that's happening later tonight. And right now, Lucina making her way to the ring. Lucina, I think, has a lot to prove in this matchup. She's been on a hot streak as of late. Ever since losing the second round of Glamour XL in the tournament, she's gotten quite a bit of wins. One over Sunset Shimmer and New Games 2, one over Jasmine Sky, the Valentine Special, and outside of MCWA, she defeated Sakura Hayuori in a shoot fight, which the only reason I legit remember that is because she does not shut up about it. I'm serious, that's the only reason. But Lucina has another challenge up ahead. One that I think is going to be quite the... Well, this is music I'm not familiar with, so... So this obviously is a debuting wrestler. I wonder who it is. Well, there she is. And hold on. That armor. That's Brigitte Lindholm. Brigitte Lindholm. The daughter of Torbjorn. Nikita Lindholm here in MCWA. And she's a squire to Reinhardt and the daughter of Torbjorn. She has a lot to prove. And I think being here in MCWA can help her tremendously. There's the bell. This matchup is underway. Here we go. Oh, there's the grapple. Lucina wins it. And Brigitte. Brigitte with the... Hammerlock, keeping Lucina grounded. And now Brigitte, huge uppercut. And now Brigitte with, oh! And now Brigitte going for a backbreaker. There it is. Brigitte showing some power. Oh, huge strike by Brigitte. And now looking for, oh my god. Look at the strength of Brigitte Lindholm! The girl from Sweden! The one who will give you a mace in the face! I mean like the flail, not the... Uh, not the spray. But right now, Brigitte doing a really good job in keeping Lucina at her own game! Brigitte using the power game to her advantage! That is the one thing she probably excels at over Lucina. Experience? Lucina has that. Obviously, this is her first, this is Brigitte's first match. Oh, somersault kick land. Brigitte goes down. And now, oh. Try going for something that didn't work out. Oh, oh. Brigitte just slams Lucina down. And now looking for the, oh. There's a modified backdrop by Brigitte Linto. Brigitte now, picking up Lucina, oh, Michinoku Driver, the Michinoku Driver lands, there's the cover, One, two, two, no, only oh, gets a two count, oh, Brigitte, Brigitte now, suplex, oh, looking for another one, a second, and she's going for three, three suplexes, There's the cover after the three One, suplexes. Two. Only gets a two. Like I said, Brigitte doing a really good job in keeping the power game going. Wait a minute, Lucia going behind, now going in front. Close line. Just a bit of a daisy trick for Brigitte. Some chops. Oh, Reek in the eye. And now, oh, no blow to the armor. Ouch! That's gotta hurt it. Oh, come on! Lucina flipping the bird! Lucina! Lucina's just becoming disrespectful here! There's a DT! And Lucina just punched the way at the only part that isn't exposed! That is exposed! 
just punching Nagita's head. The only thing not protected by the armor. Casillas just continuing to punch away at Nagita. Oh, wait a minute. Nagita's back up. And now Nagita. Oh, shot. Another shot. Oh. Huge shots to the head. And now Nagita. Look at that. A suplex again. Blood rushes the head of Lucina. Nagita showing great power in this matchup. She's just called for everyone to rally to her, trying to get the trying to get the crowd rallied up. But wait a minute, Lucina going behind with a backslide. One, the backslide is in. Two. No. Nagita kicks out. There's a kick. And now, oh, Irish web into the corner. And now Lucia just kicking away. Oh, assistant kicks to the head. Rope assistant. Now dragging Brigitte away from the ropes and punching away at her. Those kicks were not enough for the pin. Lucia just not wanting to go for the pin, actually. And now Lucina. Looking for Oh my god! Pile driver to Brigitte's head! One, that is gonna two, hurt! Brigitte kicks out! Oh that chop was blocked by the armor! Backhand by Brigitte! Now Brigitte's got Lucina! Pulling her in! Belly to belly! Belly to belly throw by Brigitte Linton! Brigitte picking up Lucina! And now Another suplex! We're gonna see another suplex chain! And the referee gets caught up in the uh, in the crossfire! Third suplex! Thankfully the referee wasn't down for long! And now oh we see him! Lucina actually just getting out of the ring! Brigitte's obviously happy! One! But is Lucina two, going to just leave or three? She's thinking Four. about it. Five. Blagita telling Lucian to get back in the ring, Seven. but Lucian probably not having Eight. any of it. Nine. Ten. Lucian telling the referee to get between them. Wait a minute. Oh, Brigitte ignored the orders and paid the price. A guillotine by Lucina. And now Lucina just... Oh, sit out face buster by Lucina. And now locking in the leg lock. Brigitte gets out of it. Oh, tried going for throwing a spinning punch. Didn't work. Oh, low blow again! Probably the weak point of the armor because no one expects you to strike there. But Lucina just... I don't get it. Why is Lucina being this disrespectful now? Lucina's just doing whatever she wants, not thinking about the consequences. And Lucina just punched away in Brigitte's head. Just punched away. Continuing the punch away. A stomp. Oh, a huge chop. And now into the corner. Oh, a huge chop. Some shoulder thrusts. Continuing the shoulder thrust. Ugh. That has to hurt now. Oh, just stomping a mud hole in Brigitte. Just disrespectful. And of course she flips the bird. Come on. Well, see now, this game ridiculous. Now flipping the bird at the crowd and the referee? Come on! What happened to that honor you used to have? There's a pile driver. And Brigitte's, Brigitte's in trouble. Lucina picking up. Nope. Oh, Brigitte gets out of wherever that was. And Brigitte gonna lay on the punches for good measure. Brigitte finally coming back and says, no, she's not. And now, Lucina suplex. 
And now Usina going up to the top. Usina, don't miss the double axe handle. But she did lay on her feet just fine. And wait a minute. High spin backdrop by Brigitte. Once again, showing her power. The one thing she probably has over Usina. Brigitte. This inexperience and playing to the crowd might cost her. Belly to belly. And now Brigitte. Oh! She tried to go over something big there. It didn't work. And Lucia just pulls the hair. Lucia just going for so many disrespectful tactics. It's not even funny. Oh! Missed again. And now, oh, wait a minute. Lucina. Oh! She calls that the pride of Ulysse. One, two. Does not get it. The pride of Ulysse does not finish this match. The same move that pulled away made me... Oh, a DDT! That busted! That did something to Brigitte. And now we see it just pushed away at Brigitte's head. And now... We see it continuing to punch away at Brigitte's head. We see it just not stopping! She's just gonna continue this for as long as she wants. Oh no. Well, Lucia might be looking to end this. Probably with the Falcon. Lance the Falcon. There's the cover. One, two, three. And Lucina wins. I'm not disputing the fact that she won. I'm disputing how she won. Well, I can't dispute that either, actually. Well, see, it just did constant dirty tactics throughout this entire match. And then land the Falcon to get the job done. One, two, three. Cena picking up the W. Although I do dispute how she got the W. And now Lucina's looking at Brigitte. Oh, come on! As if this wasn't enough! As if this wasn't enough for you, Lucina! Now you have to attack Brigitte some more? What did she do to you? Lucina just punched away in Brigitte! This probably has nothing to do with Brigitte! Lucina's words are... Lucina doesn't want to take down fighters like Brigitte, but obviously her agenda has changed. She wants to send a message to the entire women's division, saying that she is going to be the top, and she's going to take out anyone who stands in her way. This has nothing to do about pride. This has nothing to do about honor. This has nothing to do with getting rid of those she dislikes. Ah, Falcon! She just wants to get rid of everyone. And anyone. Lucina. Just absolutely disrespectful by Lucina. And she's leaving. We're going to get security to escort her out of the building. And we're going to check on Brigitte. Hopefully we'll be able to do that before the IC title match. Seems like Fabiola Iglesias is happy to be a maid, which makes sense since that's her job. She's just happy to be working in general. And... Oh! Oh my god, that's gonna cause some oh, uh, That's gonna cause some awful moments. Anyway, it's time for our main event of the evening! Yep, that's definitely that phone warning! Oh, big 
Why aren't you now? Sendai thus is the challenger for this IC title match. Sendai thus in the ring. Sendai thus definitely looking forward to this title match. She asked for this. And Aqua accepted. This is Aqua's first actual title defense, so some pressure might be on her for this. But anyway, here comes the Arcano Champion. She won it at the Valentine's Special. She went through the Strange Valentine's Tournament with Seijin, and then went out of her way to defeat Seijin to win the Arcano title. And now, it's here main eventing another show. Aqua looking forward to a fight. And she is going to go up against the happy-go-lucky Sonata Dusk. Sonata Dusk doesn't have the best track record here in MCWA. At New Begins 2, her first singles match, she ended up losing to Arya Blaze. But then Sonata said something which... I'm probably not going to forget. She said that she's willing to get stronger. She's willing to get faster. She's willing to get better. And I think... I think this match could be a good test. To see how strong Sonata actually is. Because you know, she is going to give everything to win this title match. And Aqua is going to do whatever it takes to defend. Aqua goes in every fight not expecting an easy one. And that is probably going to hold true here. Aqua currently 5-0. and oh. Let's see how long the undefeated streak actually goes for. I'm actually curious. But Aqua in the rain. We're about to get this towel match underway. Here we go. The Air Cadillac kind of Town match is underway, and it's our main event of tonight. Oh, Sonata missing the clothesline. Didn't work out. And Sonata. Sonata's just going for countless clotheslines. Going for countless strikes. And she's missing every single one of them. Aqua's just too fast. Um, Sonata, you can stop. Are you doing this for your exercise since you're wearing a parka and all? Wait a minute, Aqua goes behind Sonata. Oh, step up into Gary. Sonata's down. Oh, uppercut. And now, Aqua snap suplex. Snap suplex by Aqua. Now locking in a surfboard stretch. Surfboard stretches and Sonata has nowhere to go. Aqua lets go of it. Now, Aqua and Zagiri again. Aqua is in complete control of this bout. This title match is going greatly in Aqua's favor. There's a camel clutch. Again, Sonata has nowhere to go. The ropes are nowhere nearby. And now, oh, that didn't work out. Oh, there's a grapple going behind. Looking for, oh, Invert DT. Invert DT by Aqua. And now Aqua. Aqua praying to the gods above, I think. And knee drop. The knee drop by Aqua. There's the cover. One, One two, two. Aqua retain. No. Not in yet. There's a shot. And now Aqua. Aqua now with the gut wrench. Lands it. Aqua lands the gut wrench. And now. Aqua going for the Boston Crab. That Boston Crab is in tight. Sanai has nowhere to go. This works on the leg and the back. Sonata's in trouble. Sonata probably has nothing she can do in this case. She's just getting manhandled by Aqua. Maybe. Oh. There's a roll up One, by Aqua. Two. Only gets a two. Maybe we overestimated Sonata's strength. Wait a minute. Sonata's back up and rolls out. Now, unfortunately for Sonata, this is not One, a no DQ match. So countouts two, are active. Three. So Sonata's just gonna four, have to. Sonata's gonna have to get in five, at some point. Six. And Aqua can even follow her if she seven, wants. 
but they had to get in by the count of 20 or else they'll be counted out. Aqua is... Aqua and Sonata stare down. Oh, that punch is blocked. Sonata now actually has a different game plan. Just strike, and that clothesline finally lands. Heidi! And now, Sonata throwing Aqua into the ropes. Oh, a knee! Needs the gut, taking Aqua over. And now Sonata, Sonata's back in the game. There's a punch, oh, huge clothesline. Runs the ropes, drop kick. Sonata's game fired up. She's rocking on all cylinders here. No, no, no. Aqua counters it into an inside cradle, only gets a one count. Sonata Dusk. Oh, there's a huge kick. Close line. Aqua's down. Maybe I underestimated Sonata. And now Sonata snaps suplex. She's actually getting some offense in. There's a sleeper roll. And Aqua gets out of it. As soon as I say Sonata's getting some offense, Aqua shuts it down. Aqua's gonna be looking for the end here. Gonna be looking to call it a night. No. Oh. Sonata. Oh. Aqua gets up. No. Aqua missed the spell weaver. And Sonata with a release German. The release German lands. And a quick cover by Sonata. One, two. Two. Oh, he gets a two. It seems like Sonata is unable to bridge. All right, she will have gotten that pin right away and maybe could have won the Intercontinental title. Now Sonata is going up top. That's quite a distance away. Oh! She undershot it. And now a camel clutch. Aqua has that camel clutch in. Sonata has nowhere to go. Her back and neck being contorted in all ways. Being bent away it's not supposed to. And now Aqua, Aqua now, oh, belly to belly. Again, landing on the back. Aqua, now going for the Boston Crab. Again, that puts pressure on the back. And that Boston Crab is in tight. Let's go of it. But Sonata again, weakened down considerably. Wait a minute, oh, victory roll. The victory roll by Aqua. One, two, two, no. Aqua is not still the champion yet. And Sonata is not out of the running just yet. And now going back into the camel clutch. And Sonata finally gets out of that camel clutch. But you can see she's clutching her stomach. There's obviously some pain that comes in from that camel clutch and the Boston Crab. Now Sonata running and hits the drop kick. And now Sonata going up, going up to the second row. Tornado DDT. The tornado DDT lands. And now Sonata, no. Aqua, no. Countered. Aqua now, looking for it. No. No. And now Aqua with the inside cradle, small package roll. Aqua gets over the champion. Two. No. Only gets a two count. That was close. And now Aqua. Now Sonata, no, Sonata goes behind. And now, oh, Sonata with headlock takedown. Sonata's back in the game. Or maybe not. Backdrop. And now, but wait a minute, it's not like creating out of nowhere. One, Aqua, Aqua's two. in trouble. No. Aqua gets out of that inside cradle. Man, imagine the reaction had Sonata won with that. And now Sonata waiting on Aqua to get up. And now Sonata. Sonata now. Northern Lights with the bridge. One, One two. two. No. Aqua gets out of two. But Sonata keeping up the offense. Sonata is keeping up that offense like there's no tomorrow. There's a power slam. Power slam. There's the cover. One, two. two. No. Aqua kicks out again. Their punch is blocked. And now, Superman, no. Sonata counters. And another inside cradle by Sonata. This could be it. Inside cradle's in tight. No. 
only gets a two count. That was close. Again, we could have had a new Air Cardinal champion, and her name could have been Sonata Dusk. And now, Aquanel. Oh, just driving Sonata's leg into the mat. Weaving down the legs, and now going back to this. It's like an Indian deathlock. Oh! Man, just, I feel it from here, and I feel like Sonata's legs. I must be feeling like hell. And, oh! Atomic drop, putting the knee on Sonata's butt. Not exactly a comfortable position. The pelvis is the largest bone in the body, so... Wait a minute. There's an abdominal stretch. Working the head, arms, and back. Sana is in trouble. Oh, snapmare takedown. Oh! Sana is back up. She's clutched her stomach again. Oh, clothesline. The clothesline taking Aqua off her feet. Wait a minute. Oh, elbow miss. Just huge right hand by Sonata. And Sonata looking to end this. Sonata now. Beautiful head scissors takedown. Head scissors takedown by uh, Sonata. And oh, drop kick in the corner. And now some punches. Close line. Aqua's down. Sonata going up top. Sonata looking for something big here. Diving cross body. The cross by by Sonata. But Sonata again staying on the offense. Oh! Sonata now going up top. Hits the elbow. The elbow to the heart of Aqua. There's the One, cover. We could have a new champion. No! Only gets a two count. SEO. Sonata does just keeping up the aggressive behavior. Sonata does just not hesitating. Whenever Aqua kicks out, Sonata just goes back to the offense. And that is a really good strategy. Wait a minute. Aqua counters for the neck breaker. And now Aqua. Aqua's looking to end this. No, oh, Sonata's back up. No, oh, drop kicks in the leg. Drop kicks in the leg now, and there's the headlock. The headlock is in tight. Aquaman's a tap here to a headlock. It's possible. No! So now let's go, and now Aqua back up! Aqua now, Michinoku! Michinoku driver by Aqua, dragging Sonata away! And now going back into the Boston Crab! This Boston Crab is really doing the damage! Sonata again has nowhere to go! She's trying to get out! Sonata does eventually get out, but how much damage has been taken by Sonata already? That's what I want to know. And now going back into the surfboard stretch, Sonata gets out of it. But you can see Sonata is really slow to get up. And now, oh, close line by Sonata. She's trying to get back into this. Wayne or not going to get up. Wayne on it. Oh, close line. Diving clothesline by Sonata. And now Sonata looking for... Oh, Taco Tuesday! Taco Tuesday by Sonata. That's the first time she's landed in a two. while. Only gets a two count. Aqua kicked out of the Taco Tuesday. There's the for DT by Sonata. Sonata now. It's not keeping up the offense still, but I have to think she's flabbergasted. I have to think she is legitimately surprised that Aqua kicked out of her most powerful move, the Taco Tuesday. And now, Aqua now, whoa, Sonata, it's not counting the inside crew, this could be a new champion! One, two, two and no! Oh, Aqua yes. kicks out! Oh, yes. What is it going to take for Sonata to actually keep Aqua down? Multiple inside cradles, multiple attacks from different angles, and even a Taco Tuesday. Nothing has kept Aqua down. 
Sonata has given it everything she has and then some. But she still can't defeat Aqua. What is going to be that secret attack? And oh no. Sonata, it looks like she ran out of stamina. Oh, diamond clothesline. But she can't follow it up. She can't follow up that attack. Now, she tried going for Taco Tuesday again, but countered. Inside Cradle. The inside Cradle by Aqua. Aqua can retain here. No! That was... That had to have been so close. The wrist touched the mat, but the hand did not. Spell Weaver. Sonata's in the ropes. Irish whip. Oh, Sonata can't even make it to the ropes. And Aqua taking advantage. Key play clash. The key play One, clash by Aqua. Two, three, and Aqua retains. Aqua has retained the Urkado Championship over Sonata Dusk. And that. Woo! Man, what a match. Sonata gave it everything she had, but she could not, and I repeat, could not, One, keep up with two, down, and that key play flash was all it took. Aqua celebrates in victory over Sonata. Aqua is celebrating the fact that she retained. She picked up Sonata. She has a microphone. What's she going to say? Strong words by Aqua, saying that this is much as Sonata's victory as it is hers. And I cannot disagree with that. Sonata has definitely proven herself here tonight. I think she has a huge future out of her. She gave it everything she had. She was serious. And you know what? I don't think there's anything to be disappointed of that. Well, Sonata receiving some words of encouragement from her rival, Arya. That actually is a bit of a surprise. But now let's move on to our final segment here. We're going to learn more about Sunset Shimmer's current condition. We're going to learn more about what's going on with Sunset Shimmer. And, wow, that's quite the outfit, actually. I don't think she came in thinking it was going to be professional. And you know what? It doesn't have to be. This is MCWA. We're not exactly known for being the most professional, guys. But Sunset Shimmer, she's got to give some... She's got to give some words to the crowd here. This crowd here in Phoenix, Arizona, they probably want to know what's going on. As much as we do. What is Sunset Shimmer's current condition? How is she going to move forward? We'll find all this out and more, perhaps. Well, Sunset Shimmer's in the ring. She has a microphone. Let's hear her.
Goes for some encouraging words from Sunset Shimmer. She'll be back likely by July. But with all that being said, thank you guys for watching this episode of MCWA. I am Miss Matoma 101, signing off. Peace!